So quite often when we're dealing with G-code, we may need to edit that G-code off the machine at a PC. Now we've got different options for text editors. We could use a standard notepad that comes with a Windows computer, but it doesn't format the code for us like some text editors do. So in this video, we're going to look at four different text editors we can use to edit our G-code files offline, and they're all free. So let's start with Notepad++. This text editor is an upgrade from the standard Notepad that you find on PCs. And this one gives us a lot more useful information for being a programmer. For example, with Notepad++, we can change the format of the text to match our programming language. Now where G-Code's a programming language, we would normally use these kind of text editors for front-end development, uh, for languages that doesn't need an IDE, for example, HTML or JavaScript, but they also work great for G-Code. So let's have a look at Notepad++. So if we just delete this, if we go under languages and user defined language, we can install a G-Code language that formats G-Code for us. Now this can be downloaded online. It's easy to find. And here's the G-Code sign text here. I can just install it into Notepad++. And this is done under language and user defined language. So now we have that in place, we can write our G-Code. And when we come to save it, if we save it with .nc, so we go to save as, and we save it as new1.nc, for example. And then once we saved it, it formats our code for us. So we can highlight the G codes and M codes in our script. That makes it a lot easier to read. And as we program it, once we've saved it as an NC file, it will format it like this for us. Now, all these four text editors do this apart from Atom. Now let's have a look at Atom next. So here's Atom. Now, the issue I'm having with Atom is this is the only code editor out of four that doesn't format our G-code for us. So when we're writing in G-code in Atom, we're only seeing it like this. It's not color coded to show us where the G-codes and M-codes are. Now I have searched extensively for a G-code package for Atom and I can't find one, which is a shame because I used to use Atom as my main text editor for a very long time. So although Atom is a very good uh, text editor, um, it doesn't change our formatting for G-code for us. So that's Atom. Now Atom was recently bought by Microsoft and Microsoft already own VS Code. Now VS Code is a text editor I use all the time, especially when I'm programming websites for HTML, JavaScript, different programming languages apart from G-Code. I always find VS Code is extremely quick where Atom tends to slow down as you get to long programs. So I wouldn't recommend Atom for editing G-Codes now, but I would recommend VS Code. So VS Code stands for Visual Studio Code, and we can use this to edit our G-Code. So let's take a look how we format our code, Visual Studio Code. So we would go under View and go to Extensions. Extensions is what VS Code call the overlays we can add to our text to highlight certain things. So under Extensions, we can start typing in G-Code and it gives us lots of different G-code formatters. Now we've got ones that specialize for mills and laves and also different generic ones as well. So I'm just gonna go for a generic G-code ISO for CNC machine, that one would do. I'm gonna select that and we can install that. And as you can see, when it's installed, it will highlight all of our X, Y, and Z, R values, F values, it'll highlight some different colors. So it makes the program much easier to read. And we've got different options here. There's loads of different ones we can do. And you can also edit these colors to something that more suits you. So it's totally customizable as well. So Visual Studio Code is the text editor I now use to edit G-Code. But there's also one more that's just as good. And let's have a look at that. And that one is called Brackets. So Brackets is the fourth and final text editor I want to look at today. So if we just put some G-Code in our file here, so this is normal standard G-code, it's not highlighted any functions yet, but we can turn that on. So if we go under File and Extension Manager, again, the same as VS Code, it's called Extensions. Now under our search box here, if we type in G-code, oops, it's given us some sign text for G-code also, so we got some highlighters there. So I've already installed the first one here, this simple 
sign text G code highlighter. <laughs> so I'm going to click on close. And if we save this under um, a .nc file name, so if I say .nc, then it will format it for us so all the colors match. So we can see our M codes and our G codes more clearly. Now, unlike VS code, it hasn't altered the X, Y, and Z to highlight them, but you can play around with it and change the sign text yourself. And also there's a few different versions here as well. So you can choose which one suits you better. And the same as the others, you can change the colors and totally edit this to suit your own needs. So that is four different text editors we can use to edit our G code offline. So out of all of them, we have Atom, Notepad++, Brackets, and Visual Studio. I would normally go with Visual Studio Code. That's my favorite. Second, I would use Brackets. And Atom, unfortunately, doesn't color code our code for us. It's not compatible with G code, but it's still a very good text editor. And finally, Notepad++ is a great text editor for any situation and it also formats our g-code for us.